What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blocks back with another video. Not only with a new video, with a new name, with a new clan, and some of you may have already noticed the Blocks for Days that I've had for this entire channel is finally no more. We have officially started a new clan. But before I get into that, if you haven't already, man, make sure you drop below. Make sure you drop me that like. And if you haven't already, make sure you sub up to my kid too. His link is going to be in the description. Me and him have been going crazy on twos this year. So make sure you sub up to him as well. Now let's get into the video. I have been getting non-stop questions from people as to what exactly happened with the clan. I Even clan members are confused. I'm catching a lot of heat from some of the clan members and stuff. For me, just completely ending it just like that. But in this video, I'm going to explain everything. I'm going to explain everything that happened that led up to it. I'm going to explain the good times and, of course, the bad. It's all going to be in this video. While I talk, this is going to be my level 40 rep-up game that I will be playing while I talk. So let's get into it. First things first, I want to explain to everybody, when we had first come up with these names, this was never supposed to be a clan. This was supposed to be a father and son. Who literally just had similar names. I didn't really know what clans were. I was never really into 2k like that. We had just come up with a couple names. He came up with both of them actually. And that was that. But then. When I had grinded for legend in 2k20. I was running with randoms a lot of the year. And of course my kid. But. Uh, towards the end. When I was getting close to legend. A lot of people were asking to join the clan. We would already failed twice at making a clan. So this was our third attempt in the last few months. And that's when we started to actually recruit people. The first people was Dom and Fades for days. And then Bree shortly after. Fades went and he recruited one of his IRLs. And then Dom recruited one of his IRLs. So going into 2K21, suddenly we went from just two people that had similar names to suddenly a clan of seven, which happened in a month. So we went into the season with seven of us. I had started to run with Fades quite often. My kids started to run with Dom quite often. And then there was already a couple people that weren't really active in the clan. But that's when um, I was doing a sub-session one day. And I had run into Tino. And we recruited him. He was my kid's recruit. Which, I mean, he lasted in the clan longer than anybody else without ever leaving. But as we started to get bigger, we started to get a lot of beef with people. So I had picked up a few more people who were longtime subscribers of mine. And then suddenly we just, we caught ourselves in a lot of beef. There were some issues within the clan that could have turned out bad that happened shortly after Christmas last year. Where there was fights between clan members, like very serious fights. And then it led to three people being kicked out of the clan when some very, very, very inappropriate stuff was being said. I had kicked them out. So right after I had kicked them out, I wanted to do some recruiting. This is when we picked up Krabs. I didn't really even know who Krabs was. I had just seen him play, and he looked pretty good to me. So I had picked up Krabs. And then we thought we were going strong. And out of nowhere, um, Dom left. And he was one of the first people we had ever recruited to the clan. And he was somebody that I had actually made a leader of the clan when we had picked up ps5s him and zion so when he left the clan we were a little blindsided by it so immediately after that i had messaged tino and said how would you like to be a leader of the clan immediately he took it he had no issues being a leader of the clan because i wasn't sure how much me and my kid were going to be on current gen i wasn't really expecting to play it anymore so we had made tino a leader and immediately that's when he messaged Daniel and Boppin for days, and they joined the clan very quickly. So in a matter of a few weeks, we had actually added Krabs, Daniel, and Boppin into the clan. So even though we lost people, addition by subtraction, that was actually the strongest our clan ever looked. Despite the fact that it seemed like there was holes within the clan. But because of the people we had picked up, this was actually the best we had ever looked. So because of the skilled players we now had in the clan, we started doing all kinds of clan battles. We started doing series. We only had ever lost one series. And that was the one guard that was just, 
he was incredibly good. Probably the best guard we had ever done a series against. Mad respect to him. He was incredibly skilled, but he was very respectful after the series. wasn't cocky. He's you know he said GGs or whatever, but he was a very very good player. And then out of nowhere again, we had lost five clan members in a span of I want to say about three weeks, but only one of them was really active, and that was Daniel. The rest of the people that had left, you know, Chris, Prozzi, Fades, and Cells, none of those guys were active at all. So we didn't really care too much. So we didn't really think much of it. But then not long after that, Bree had left the clan. But I always had a feeling Bree would be back in due time. And sure enough, yeah, he had come back into the clan. I want to say about a, he took about a three-week, four-week break. So then with losing this amount of people in such a short time, I had messaged Tino again and said, you know, we need to get ourselves out there. Let's try to get on the leaderboard of an event. We had never really tried to win events before. We just kind of showed up late. But we barely ever lost when it was boot camp. We barely ever took losses in boot camp. So I said, like, next time boot camp, so let's try to actually not only win, but try to be in the top 10. So we're on the leaderboard. So when boot camp came out, we tried. And about two hours in, I was in ninth place on the leaderboard. Tina was in the top 30. And we also hit up Krabs, and Krabs was, I think, top 60. So we were all doing really well for boot camp. And then suddenly both me and Tino, we, of course, got error coded. I was streaming it, and everybody seen it. But, yeah, me and him had got error coded. So I was pretty pretty mad. So I ended up getting knocked off the leaderboard, even though I was in ninth place two hours in. I wasn't even in the top 50 when we resumed. Not even, I don't even think I was top 100. So I took a big hit. It was almost the end of that game, too, when I had got error coded. So then the next time it was out, we tried again, but we didn't have a third. I ended up finishing in 59th place after the event, so I was really close to top 50. We didn't quite get there. We were trying to just get our clan out there, do some major recruits. We figured if we finished up there, we would be able to do a lot more recruiting. But shortly after, one of my main teammates from 2K21, Krabs, messaged me and told me he wants to leave the clan. This was another one that I completely did not expect. He was one of my main teammates. So now we had to deal with him leaving the clan. And suddenly, as I'm looking through the for today's list, there is not very many active members. So I started messaging some of them. And they all promised that they would be active in 2K22. So I took their word for it that they would be active because we were running out of active members. So then 2K22 drops, and I expected a lot of people to be active. The guys that said that they would be active, I never heard from. They were never active in the chats. We had four inactive members that really just went MIA. And we're talking about a clan that only has 11 members all of a sudden. So you got four that were completely MIA, and I'm talking like aren't even really playing the game. And then there's about another three people that are part-time players, you know, doing life things, which is fine. But that leaves us with only a few people that are really playing the game. And besides me and my kid, most of them are not even playing with each other. They're playing with other people, which kind of defeats the purpose of the clan in the first place. But then at the start of October, we were supposed to do a Pro-Am 5v5 tournament. There's a little over $1,000 on the line. For the winning team. So we had a full lineup of guys. A full lineup of 10. You have 5 bench, 5 starters. A lot of people were in the clan. But there were some people outside the clan. That were also supposed to take part in this. But it was a very, very, very disorganized team. And this is when I really started to see how disorganized it was. You know, And, and that's when I really started to see a lot of the holes. That were starting to really develop. So that's when I got really frustrated with the guys. And ended up dropping our team out. Once I realized how disorganized everything was. Um, some people did agree with me that it was the right call. right? I asked some of them. Just because of how disorganized it was. We couldn't even get right when there's a thousand dollars on the line. So we went from just completely dominating series and clan battles. Almost winning major events. To just not even being able to be on the same page for a money tournament. 
but that's when we were supposed to combine with another clan and these guys are all very good players so i thought this is going to be the thing that kind of saves face and suddenly you know we'll start to be respected again right these guys that were supposed to join us were all really really good players but then i started to realize i don't think they're going to join the clan and that's what leads to the past week as to what happened i want to say last weekend I had a really strange feeling that one of my main teammates, one of my main members, was actually going to leave the clan, and that's Tino. I just had that gut instinct that he was going to leave the clan, and I thought that last weekend. Now, this is, this is detrimental to the clan because we only had so many active members, and he's one of the main active people still playing the game. He was someone I was playing the Hate Legend with, like, so he's a very active member in the clan. But something told me that he actually might be leaving. So then Tuesday afternoon, I had told my kid this, that I think Tino's going to leave. He asked me why. I said, I don't know. It's just a gut instinct. I've been right many times in the past when I thought people were leaving. I said, my gut instinct tells me Tino's going to end up leaving the clan. So he, he thought me and Tino got into a fight. I was like, no, we never got into a fight. I just, it's a gut instinct. Like, me and him never fight, really. I just, I just had a weird feeling. So then he's like, well, just ask him. So I did. And then suddenly I realized that my gut instinct was right. Because I straight up asked him, do you have plans of leaving the clan? I was never tipped off. I just, I knew, it's just one of those things that I just knew. I know when someone's acting different. And I had a feeling that, yeah, he's, he's going to end up leaving the clan. And when he told me, maybe, I realized I was right. My gut instinct was right. So then I just, me and him had a long conversation about why, like what happened or whatever. And I also had thought about ending for days if he was going to leave because I wanted to start fresh. I wanted to start with a new clan. So I told my kid this. And so we talked to Tino for a while that night. And then I realized, yeah. He is definitely leaving the clan. So that's when we had decided that maybe we're going to shorten the name and start with a new clan. And he said he would be down. He just wasn't big on the Friday's name anymore. And again, that was never supposed to be a clan. That was just supposed to be our names. That's all that was. But I still wasn't sure if I wanted to end the clan. And that's the thing. So... I talked to him. I tried to see if he would stay. And he just kept saying maybe. So I thought maybe there's a chance. And then in one of the group chats on Instagram. All hell broke loose. Between clan members. There was a huge fight. I don't even want to list names. But there was just a huge fight among clan members. And that's when I decided enough is enough. I'm going to end this. And I messaged some clan members. And told them that my plan was to, was to end the clan. I want to start fresh. So that's when we messaged Tino again. I tried to get some clan ideas. So we had all agreed. This was my kid's idea. It was AG. Always grinding. That is going to be our clan name from now on. Always grinding. In case you're wondering what AG stands for. And the whole meaning behind it was. You have to be grinding to get in this clan. This is not a clan that you're going to be joining overnight. This is a clan that you're going to have to grind for. Grind your content. Grind 2k to get into this one. My biggest regret with for days was I always tried to grind the clan and I stopped focusing on YouTube. I stopped trying to grow my channel. I stopped producing as many videos. I don't produce near as many videos now as I used to. And that's because I was so focused on the clan. But with that said, I will now always be grinding on my channel. If I'm not live streaming, I'm going to be trying to make some content for you guys. I no longer have a clan to focus on. We are going to be grinding also AG, but I'm not going to take away from YouTube to do it. And this also goes for Twitch as well. I'm going to be also streaming on there. So make sure you're following me on Twitch as well. But that's it, guys. That's basically what happened with the clan. Why we decided to end it. There's a lot of confusion. I even have people in the clan message me. They were not too happy about it. It is what it is. I just I couldn't do it anymore. But the new clan motto is always grinding. So if you want to get in that clan, make sure you're grinding. Once I see that grind... Once I see that push, show me you're good at the game and you're good with your content and you might be in the next member in AG. But with that, guys, that's it for the video. I'm out.
Peace.